Today's video is not about the Oregon Trail. It's about some place I found while exploring the Oregon Trail. Probably the coolest museum you've never heard of. Harold Warp's Pioneer Village in Minden, Nebraska. For thousands of years, man lived quite simply. Then, like a sleeping giant, our world was awakened. In a mere 120 years of eternal time, man progressed from open hearths, grease lamps, and ox carts, to television, supersonic speed, and atomic power. We have endeavored to show you the actual development of this astounding progress as it was unfolded by our forefathers and by ourselves. The Pioneer Village covers three city blocks with 100,000 square feet of floor space, housing thousands of irreplaceable items of historical value, all restored to operating order, arranged in groups, and also in the chronological order of their development, in 26 buildings. We kindly ask that you help us protect these items so that we, our children, and our children's children may also have the privilege of seeing them. Harold Warp but it's really, really an amazing museum. I'm a lover of museums, and this is a really astounding museum. The sad part is, it's obviously not getting enough funds to maintain it these days. It used to be something really special, and it seems a little run down in all aspects today. We spent, oh, maybe two and a half hours there, but this is the kind of museum you could literally spend days visiting. If you are a history buff or have any interest in Americana or industry, you will surely benefit from a trip to Pioneer Village, south of Minden, Nebraska. Here within 20 acres are over 50,000 pieces of Americana in 26 buildings. Many of the buildings were plucked from their country settings and restored here. Modern display halls hold selected treasures. Most of the antiquities are arranged according to when they were used. The one-room country schoolhouse used until 1935, still contains all of the original furnishings, desks, stove, school books, and the water pail. You'll see a prairie church where church services and weddings are still held. Nearby stands the land office building where early settlers, most of them Scandinavian and German immigrants, filed their claims for the new land following the 1862 Homestead Act. The Elm Creek Fort, built in 1869, was brought from Webster County, where it stood inside a stockade which protected five families during the Indian Wars. Also preserved around the village green are the B&M Railroad Depot, complete with two early locomotives, a Pony Express station where Buffalo Bill's saddle rests in a glass case, the general store stocked with everything from shoe buttons and flintlock guns to calico and a glass cat on the cracker barrel. The village green is arranged so that all of the original buildings can be seen with a minimum of walking. But the village green and its buildings are only half of the story. Over 50,000 items, large and small, are grouped chronologically in several large buildings. Harold Warp chose the year 1830 for the beginning of each exhibit, corresponding to when man learned to roll steel, draw wire, and hold steam under pressure. In these exhibits are most of the important scientific inventions used every day in homes, transportation, communication, and agriculture. The extensive transportation exhibit begins with an 1822 ox cart. Following an order of their use are an authentic prairie schooner wagon, a stagecoach, steam train, omnibus, horse-drawn streetcar, San Francisco cable car, and an electric trolley car. The old livery stable reveals all the variations of buggies, carriages, coaches, and carts. Today's child wonders at the ice wagon, sleigh, street sprinkler, peddler's wagon, and gypsy wagon. Pioneer Village boasts one of the best and most historic car collections in the country. 350 automobiles mark their evolution, starting with an 1897 steam car. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at a very unique museum. I'll put links to more information and their website in the description. Thanks for watching.